Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. We are going to go by the magic shop really quick to restock up on our medicine. Did I call it the magic shop? Dang it, I meant the potion shop, you know, the medicine shop. I don't know why I call it the magic shop. I do that a lot on accident. Oh, well. Uh, but yeah, we're right here. We're going to go ahead and restock up on our potion, then we're going to head over to Dungeon 5. Buy medicine before you go. Well, that's what I planned on. That's why I came here. And, uh, Dungeon 5 is to the east. It's located in the Lost Hills. Uh, it's, uh, just a little bit northeast of the first dungeon, so it's not really that far from where we're at, to be honest. Probably the hardest part about Dungeon 5 is gonna be facing the blue dark nuts with just the wooden sword. However, uh... We can use the tactic of bombing on them, but we can't waste up all of our bombs while we're there. But that's probably the general strategy I'm going to follow, is using bombs instead of just focusing on using my sword. If I'm at full health, though, I'll probably try to keep a distance and uh, hit them from safety, from a safe place. Link's rounding up for a sexy part. He's got two fairies back there. And up we go. And it's to the east. Throughout this area, yeah, you'll have boulders bouncing down. You'll have Zoras popping up from the river shooting at you. Just keep moving, though, and you shouldn't have too much trouble. At the end of the path is a waterfall and some tektites. If you're doing a normal run, if you go up that set of stairs or that blue ladder or whatever it is, and you have six hearts, you can get the white sword. But uh, otherwise, I, I can't do that because I only have three hearts, so just keep moving. We're now at the Lost Hills, just keep going up over and over. <laughs> and uh, the fifth dungeon will appear for us. And almost done. Here we are. And we're gonna bomb our way left in this room. We gotta make a. Uh, detour over to the left right quick in order to get the recorder which we have to have in order to beat the boss of this stage if we start running low on bombs we can uh, steal the bombs that that one Gibdos is carrying over there okay our first big room filled to the brim with blue dark nuts okay they take eight hits to kill I believe there's four Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they take eight hits to kill. Okay. If I can get more than one in a bombing, then I'm going to go ahead and risk it. Despite me only hitting one with uh, the last bomb that I placed, but everybody makes mistakes. Okay. Okay. They uh, will take me down to one heart if they hit me too, I believe. Since I had the beam to my sword now, I'm going to play it safe. Okay. Dead. Oh, boy. Saving the, the bombs we have. Okay. Yeah, we have to have at least one bomb in order to get the bomb upgrade, which is also right next to where the recorder is at. And the uh, bomb upgrade costs 100 rubies, so, yeah, we have enough money for it. It's to the right in this room. You gotta cross this little pool of blood or whatever the heck it is right here. Kill off that bat. And there we go. And bomb this wall over here. The old man inside is all like, I bet you would like to have more bombs. And then I'm all like, duh, you think? And there we go. Time to go to the room where we get the recorder. Also another room filled to the brim with blue dark nuts. However, we have a lot more bombs to spare now, and we don't really need a whole lot of bombs for the rest of the dungeon, and if we run low, we can steal them from the Gibdos at the beginning of the dungeon. So, bombs away! Okay, there's a glitch where if you're facing the Dark Knight whenever you place the bomb, it won't damage them, even if it hits them. So you have to be facing away and kind of lure them into the bomb, and try to get them in big groups so that you don't waste a whole, whole lot of your bombs. Okay, there we go. Another fairy for the sexy party just a second ago. Alright. And 
just two more of them. Yeah, if you can just kind of walk them along while being at a safe distance like I did just a minute ago, then do that as well. I think we uh, will be able to defeat this one with more bombs to spare. There we go. Dead. Alright. Go in here and get the recorder, and then we'll head back to the entrance, pretty much. Actually, the room that's uh, one room north of the entrance, but still. Okay, we got the recorder. Time to head back. Too bad that they don't got, like, an instant way to get back to the entrance of the dungeon, like using an item or something, you know, like the magic mirror and a link to the past and all that kind of stuff. I mean, of course, I could always do the whole pause and press the buttons trick and to uh, end up at the beginning of the dungeon, but no, I'm not going to do that unless I'm forced to, which I am not, so... Yeah. Just avoid these dart nuts now since you don't have to kill them, and go right. Probably steal the bombs that the Gibdos has. There we go. Destroy the Gibdoses in this room. They take quite a few hits with the sword, so I'm just going to use some arrows. As you can see, that one Gibdos has a key. You can just stun it with the boomerang and steal the key if you want. But I had to kill anyway, so went for it. Go east here. Alright. Kill off the Zoles for their goodies. <coughs> Quit the bow. The bow is the only weapon I have right now that will kill the Zoles hole. Otherwise, if I hit them with any other weapon, they split into two uh, gel enemies. Go around the Gibdoses in this room. Okay, now that just absolutely sucks. Probably gonna have to use my potion now. Gonna light up the room, get into a better position. Okay, gotta light up the room and maneuver around these guys. If I can find a safe place, I'm, I'm probably gonna uh, try to kill these guys off now. Nah. Just thinking about killing them off in case a fairy would appear, but I, I have potion and money, so I'm just gonna do that. Kill off that Paul's voice right quick. Yikes. I am a little nervous right now because I'm at one heart, but if I panic or freak out, it's only gonna make things worse, so just stay calm. It's one bit of advice that I can offer anybody that's playing a game. If you're in a harsh situation, do not freak out. Don't panic. I mean, it may sound hard to not freak out or panic, but if you freak out, get mad, panic, or anything, you're going to mess up. It'll increase your chances of messing up. So stay calm and don't panic is all that I can say. We're back to full health, and we are one screen away from the boss. Kill off the pole's voices with the bow and arrow. As you can see, it just takes one uh, arrow apiece. And they drop some pretty decent cash as well. And uh, we are now at the boss, aka Dig Dogger. What you gotta do is you gotta play the flute or the recorder, and then it'll make him like a smaller version of himself. You can attack him with whatever you want, but arrows are stronger than the sword, so I'm just gonna do that. And there we have it. Avoid getting that heart container up there. And yeah, well that is it for part 7.